Look, can't complain, man. Everything's great. Yeah. I'm Gucci, I'm straight. Nothing but positive five this way. Really just blessed to see another day. God done gave me a whole lot of great. Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm so Pisces. And I'm just like my source I am that I am. And it's Gangstar Tarot. So how y'all doing? This message is going to be for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Taurus is anyone in your chart this could possibly read, resonate. You know you are my wandering bull. Your element is Earth. Ruling planet is Venus. Strengths are that you are reliable, practical, devoted, um, responsible, and stable. Your weaknesses is that you can be stubborn, possessive, uncompromising. You like gardening, cooking, music, romance, high quality clothes, and working with your hands. You dislike sudden change, complications, insecurity um, of any kind, and you don't like synthetic fabrics. This sign is the harvester of the fruit of your labor. I love that about you, okay? I love the moon and the sun, the masculine and the feminine. I respect the light as well as the dark, positive and negative, okay? I'm in love with the law of attraction, mastering, um, manifestation. I am an intercessor. All of my information is in the information box below, description. All of my information is in the description box below, right? All right, here we go. Taurus, let's get into it. Please check out my morning manifestation videos wake and bake altar call about my favorite light worker okay it's jesus wrong light jesus is my favorite light worker okay and today he said i am the good shepherd the good shepherd giveth his life for his sheep john 10 11 describe every love jesus he is your favorite as well i love me some jesus you are an earth sign i am a pisces a sun Therefore, I am a water sign, so I have our Tibetan sound bowl filled with water. Good vibes, positive vibes, okay? So today I'm going to be using um, my favorite cards, the Siren Starseed Tarot. Shout out to all my starseeds. Break it down with the Beautiful Creatures Tarot, okay? From my Beautiful Creatures, because I'm so fucking Pisces. And... Uh, clarifying with the modern witch I will then um, give overall advice now that's just weeks one through four overall advice for the month will be from the spirit of the animal oracle cards okay, beautiful deck and then we'll get a little three to four cards from the romance oracle just to see what's going on in our love life okay tap into our hearts Anybody in the raven spirit, royal messenger. Glory, hallelujah, be unto the most high God, King of kings, Lord of lords, Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end, Lord God, who was, who is, and who is yet to come, the great I am, our redeemer, our healer, our deliverer. We worship you. Such an honor is to be at your feet yet again, asking for nothing, offering all that I am. A living sacrifice before your throne. Do with me as you see fit. Not, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Holy Spirit, my leader, my guider into all truth and to all knowledge. Shekinah, you have become my best friend. I thank you for using me in these cards to deliver a message to the Taurus that needs to hear it the most. Archangel Michael. Ancestors, ascended masters, guardians of the light, keepers of the light, I'm calling on you from the north, the south, the east, and the west. I ask you to cut anything that is not serving us right now. Any demonic energy, any generational curses, any addictions, any broken hearts, anything or anyone that is not serving the divine will. I'm calling on you on behalf of all elements, earth, air, fire, water, focusing on earth, Taurus right now. All, all things done by the almighty power of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. And so it is.
I will now allow my spirit to intercess for our flesh. a very very intellectual um person right now tell me they're coming um feminine energy right here very intellectual there is um in the first week embodying that queen on your throne the second week there is um the angel number seven there is a completion okay first and second week first week uh, air energy. A lot of air energy could be in your chart. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There's a completion. Maybe a trip within the second week. Alchemy. Going through um, air, fire, earth, water. This is all, um, could be an Ophucus here. This is all elements. Number eight, angel number eight of orbs. A lot of air energy. Eight of orbs. It's like the eight of swords. The transformation taking place. It's going to be shadow work. It's going to be a new beginning, though. Please clarify, spirit. Earth energy, Taurus. Why is the Sage of Orbs seven orbs? Also, an eight of orbs. You're dealing with an air sign. A lot of air in your chart. Earth, air, fire, water. Sage of Orbs, very intellectual, and putting uh, the divine feminine could be working with the moon. This is going to bring changes and transformation. There's a curiosity of the paranormal. There is a curiosity of the paranormal. And something is changing here within the first week, intellectually. Uh, the way you think about the paranormal, maybe. Okay. We're dealing with uh, Sagittarius, Temperance in Reverse, Nine of Swords, Anxiety Second. Okay, so there could be a something's not in moderation, something's not uh, being fair, something's not in balance, Seven of Swords, something's being complete, Seven of Orbs. Um, excuse me, there's a lot of anxiety. Um, Sleepless nights doing to have to do with these changes. Uh, definitely looking like a departure. Okay. Oh, it flew all the way off the table. Okay, so here we are. Pinnacles, seven of pinnacles, number of completion, progress. Finally, within the third week, here you are. Pinnacles. There you are progressing, okay? A little bit of anxiety, sleepless nights, page of swords, doing introspection the third week. Okay. 
Eight of Swords. Hierophant, becoming a free spirit, freeing yourself from something. Freeing yourself from demonic energy. Freeing yourself musically. Freeing you from morals. You are the one. You are authentic, okay? Intellectually. Okay, but you're hiding something. You're wearing a mask. You're not showing anyone yet. Five spirit. Let's clarify. Why is the paranormal curiosity in the wheel of karma changes? Temperance and reverse anxiety enter the seven of Wands. A completion of anxiety. A completion of imbalance. There is uh, angel number 77. Seven of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. There is progress with the introspection within yourself, within your ideas. Okay, this is taking time. Really taking your time. Being meticulous here. Coming out of the room. Coming out of the box. Freeing yourself. You are authentic. You are the one. You know this. Feeling like this is a musician. Freeing yourself from demonic energy, from dark energy, energy that is no longer serving you within the fourth month of the top. Temperance in reverse. You know, okay, that first week seems like um strength is in reverse. Okay. Could not be feeling strong, could not be feeling courageous. Um, but that is changing. There is a new relationship building here. Could be with a fire sign. Could be with the Sagittarius with the temperance card. There are sleepless nights up with, the, with this page of cups. Okay. You're getting the empress. There is progress and introspection in the third week. Divine. Life gives you lemon. You make lemonade. Embodying the empress. I'm the empress. So now I'm just saying. If you want to subscribe. This is resonating with you. We have this knight of wands. You are the one. Hero fan, eight of orbs, freeing yourself from this knight of wands. Definitely freeing ourselves from an air sign. The Sagittarius. Temperance in reverse. Yeah. The Emperor in reverse. We have the Empress, but the Emperor in reverse. Okay. Two major arcanas. Red light. Can y'all see that? My energy is on here. There's a fire sign. Okay. The death card in reverse is a birthing of something. Leaving this new relationship, this page of cups, young energy. A new relationship is popping up, Scorpio. The emperor and empress in reverse. Yeah, two of swords. Blinders are coming off. Progress, introspection. You need to be able to see things clearly. Definitely. Here's your energy. Finally. Six of Pentacles. Okay. So once you go ahead and take the blinders off. Okay. There's a new there's a new birthing. There's a new relationship here. Building. We will become. There's a new relationship. Six of Pentacles. Balanced. Physically, spiritually. Looking like a teacher. Okay. Once you break through. Look at the magician. You the freaking magician. Okay, this is beautiful, beautiful, look at that, beautiful, 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 there's, there's this emperor in reverse, this fire energy, strength, this knight of wands, real judgy. You're like, I don't want to see. I don't want to know. But now you know. Thank you, Spirit. Overall advice, Spirit. Full moon to full moon. Strawberry moon for Taurus. My energy is on. Please subscribe if this resonates with you. If you are the magician. The Divine Feminine, the Empress. 
breaking away from someone or something, knowing that you are very authentic. Free spirit, not wanting to follow rules anymore. Can you hold up a conversation in your and the lie? Thank you, spirit. Yeah, wanting to be free. Being free, exactly. Freedom. The horse. Your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength to follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. Freedom is what your spirit is crying for, what spirit is saying today. Go ahead and give yourself freedom and leave this emperor in reverse. Okay. Alrighty. Um, all that information, please. This is a general reading, so that you may need a little bit more. You may have a personal reading. That information will be down below until the next full moon. I do read um, weekly for Earth, Air, Fire, Water. You all be Earth signs. Okay, appreciate you, and I um, much love, and I'm out one. Okay, bonus love read. Basic love read for Taurus. Kondoria Kinyere. Kondoria Kondoria Talai. Nale. Anadia Kandanyere Kinyere Kinyere. Romero Kongitia. Kanya. Oh, this one that turned over in here too. chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction okay first yeah retreat retreat it's time to disconnect from the world so i was definitely getting that going along with your reading okay um keep an open mind uh your soulmate may differ than your usual type and expectations okay there definitely is a chemistry building. There is a strong magnetic attraction. Okay. It's one of those easier said than done type deals. And romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Maybe someone's having romantic feelings out there. All right, Taurus. I already know that a nigga out you getting to the paper. Yeah, I'm getting to the paper. Bunch of blue Benjamin Franklins with the big faces. And a whole lot of layers. Yeah, I'ma chase them. You can say the hustle in my nature. G certified money.